Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Stormfrax and welcome to Stellaris, a grand strategy 4X game by Paradox Studios, and we're going to be doing a, uh, a playthrough of it. So, let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? I'm going to start a new game here, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this Ultur Star Empire, a, uh, a race I've already created. I also created this one, the Zion Empire, as I've I played a good bit of the game, at least a little bit, just, just to get a basic idea of what's going on. And we're just going to go ahead and select that race. Um, we're going to just keep this all the same. I keep it... Eh, let's actually change it to forearm spiral. Let's have some fun with that, shall we? And everything else is going to be the same. So let's go ahead and pull it, hit play and get right into it. Alrighty. So this is just the kind of the introduction paragraph. I'm not going to go ahead and read through that. But first off... We're currently paused. I'm just going to send my science ship to survey all of this. And my <coughs> pardon me there. My construction ships is going to be sitting around here, and they are that. My fleet's just going to keep orbiting. Uh, let's see, for physics, start with physics, shall we? Uh, let's go ahead and get. Let's see here. I want the. Yes, I want the fusion reactor. Uh, for society, definitely want New, World, New World's Protocol to begin with, uh, immediately. And for here, let's actually get... Oh, let's see here. Let's get, let's get the ion thrusters. Let's start with that, let's unpause it. And let's actually set the speed to faster. Uh, just to get things going a little bit better there. New heir to the Empire, and we'll take the throne. Okay, cool. So, just to give a little bit of an overview of what's going on here, let's go ahead and bring up me, bring up my empire. I am the Ulturs. We are venerable, meaning we live for an extra 120 years. That is pretty significant with the leaders. Our habitability is minus 10%, though. We don't can't really habit planets very easily. Um... We are repugnant, which means other species don't really like us very much, quite as easily, especially if we're, like, right next to them. Um, and we started out on a ocean planet, which means we have a 60%, or no, I'm sorry, 80% habitability with ocean worlds, 60% on continental, 60% on arctic, 20 and 20 on tropical and tundra. And I don't know what these modules are for. Oh, okay, these are probably for, like, if I... I, okay, I actually haven't looked into this quite, this little section here, but it's, I'm sure this is for uh, probably modifying my race, once I get into, like, genetic things. So, let's go ahead and recruit an admiral. Let's stick him in my admiralty here. Or in the fleet, I'm sorry, rather. Let's see here. Uh, let's, get, let's get the trickster. Yeah, we have 115 influence. That's enough. Let's go ahead and recruit him. Let's go and get him into my foot here. Let's rename this to... Let's rename this to Black Fleet. If anyone gets the reference... Fleet, not feet. If anyone gets the reference to the book series, I commend you. That was a very awesome book series. Not in name... Well, no, it was named Black Fleet. I'm sorry. Alright, so the science ship's still going around. So what do we got here? We have two Merrells, two Energy... And those two, nothing in those, it's kind of sad. But there's usually, from what I found, there's usually not a whole lot in your starting solar system. So let's go ahead and get a mining station. Let's go ahead and get a few things queued up here. Uh, oh, actually, before I do any of that, let's go ahead, go to the spaceport, and build another science ship for the sake of exploring this mass universe here. You definitely want to kind of... Yeah, explore as much as we can, as quick as you can. Having an extra science ship will definitely help with that. So, let's get the construction ship, and let's get some things queued up, shall we? Oh, oh I have to get mining, of course. Mining and mining. Whoop. Do I have enough? Uh, I don't have quite enough, do I? Shit. All right, well, anyways, I'll get that one here first, and then I will get the other one second. I'll queue it up secondly. Alrighty. So, he has finished these other science ships, so let's go ahead and send it out. Oh, we need to get a leader for it. So, I guess I really shouldn't have other done that other one, but that's okay. Oh, cool, I gained a level. Good. Let's recruit another scientist here, so which means I probably didn't really need that other admiral, actually, but that's okay. 
let's see here, research speed, and we'll just anomaly, <laughs> anomaly, discovery chance, let's actually get this guy, since so we're going to be sending him out to explore, plus he's age 30, means he'll last a good bit longer, so long as he doesn't get blown up. So, let's go ahead and send him out to survey, let's just start with the, what's right around us here, let's go ahead and start there, 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 this one, that one, that one, that one, boom, boom, oh, I want this one, and that one, bit of a wonky whatever, but it's okay, System it does its job. Alrighty, so we got our full thing surveyed, let's go back to us now. And let's see here. Construction ship, I need you to build a mining platform right there. So what else do we get here? We have two engineering... Uh, I'm sorry, I ate earlier. We have two engineering research right over here, so that is helpfully helps us. And we got another three minerals in this asteroid. That is awesome. That is that is really, really good, actually. This is like the, like the most I've ever gotten in my starting solar system so far. So this is great. Alrighty. So we got this surveyed, so let's go ahead and send this other science ship out. And let's get him to survey yeah, a little bit farther out. So I think I got these. So you are going to... Actually, you're going to go this way on the arm. Yeah, send the other guy that way, send this one this way. So, start over there. And let's go over there, and then there. There. Do, 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 do. And that should keep him busy for a while. Alrighty. So what is next? It's got these researched. I am using, if you notice, I am using, I believe, warp drives is the terminology for it, because I'm not using a space lane, so I'm not using a hyperdrive. I believe, I believe I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm, I need to check that, actually, <laughs> before I make a fool of myself here. Um, I'm going to check that. No, anyways, encounter in Lamba Serpentis. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Lambda Serpentis system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. I agree. Contact report. Enig enigmatic spacefarers. The old Tor star system has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere of Hythia... Hythia? Yes, Hythia, following the report from our contact fleet, can be best described as rapturous. Alrighty. Oh, we're eating. Where are we evading from? Where are we going? What's going on here? Whoop. The Lambda Serpentis. What are you guys? Oh, okay. It's the crystal guys. I've seen these guys before. Yeah, they're like in every playthrough. They're these little like crystal... They're just like just crystal entities. Would be the best way of just putting it. You being surveyed? You're being surveyed, right? Where are you? You're, you're there. Oh, wow. You're going to be getting... Well, no, wait, I can actually make you... Don't be evasive, just be passive. So you... Going to be doing... Going... Since you fucked up, and you gotta... <laughs> go back out now. You're gonna be going over there. So that works. So what else is going on? Okay, construction ship. We got 104, and we got 88, 104, 69. We don't really use energy and influence very often. Um, uh, definitely influence less than energy, but even energy... I haven't found myself using all that often, except for certain things, but minerals, on the other hand, I use all the time. So let's go ahead and build another mining station over there. And I really, hopefully, definitely want to get a new a colony ship as fast as I can. So I'm definitely going to be doing that as these guys go out and explore. So I need to some other science ship to passive actually. I don't want them running because usually like these, System these uh, for for those of you who are new to the game, these uh, alien, these crystal entities here, they're not necessarily aggressive. I mean they are, but like they're only aggressive if you get too close. Like they're not gonna like chase you all the way across the solar, all the way across the solar system. Although I will, I'm gonna have you just go straight over there now. I'm just gonna have you skip this system because if you if you were to go around like scanning all these systems, he would get attacked. But you're just gonna skip that system for now. So I'm just gonna back out here. Survey there. Oop. Survey here, and then survey here, and there. Anomaly found. There. Oop. And failure risk zero percent. The conditions on Jena two are ideal for life, at least on micro microbial. 
microbial level. Am I bad? And maybe beyond. Okay, so let's go ahead and research that. And you're gonna keep going over there. And ah, there, keep popping, stop popping up with things. Anyways, we have detected the presence of a pre-space alien civilization on Fall Rithi. I think I pronounced that right. There is evidence that they ha may have that they have harnessed the power of the atom, and nuclear weapons may be prolific among their many divided nation states. Sounds like Earth. The possibility of a sudden self-inflicted extinction event is high. We should consider building an observation post above their world. Study them more closely. Alrighty. Where are you guys? Maybe it's you. How close is that? It's just run, talk, talk. Oh, wow, you're actually really close. So I may actually be able to establish a observation post. This is actually the first time I've actually discovered a civilization such as this close enough... Um, Close enough to my empire that I've been able to, I will be able to eventually establish a observation post. Okay, level up. That is good. That is good. And I found an anomaly. Sweet. Oh right, that's the anomaly. And he's he's doing that thingy. Okay. So I'm four. Still need to construction ship is back down again. I need to probably keep an eye on that a little fat closer, but that's all right. <laughs> things keep popping up. Let's go ahead and unpause this. Just keep things rolling here. The dense tropical foliage of Janitu hides what science officer back, back rugs of the Aldong calls a proto-civilization. The beings that make up this proto-civilization are still too far beyond the evolutionary curve to even be called primitive, but their social order seems to be underpinned by the beginnings of intelligible language and ab abstract thought. Science officer... I'm calling Baku here. Science officer Baku suggests that these particular creatures may be suitable testbed for technologies intended intended induce rapid evolution. Wow, that was a tongue twister. System survey. Alrighty. Continuing on. Things are keep happening here. Alright, let's go ahead and research that. 22% is just fine. And let's get the... Uh, stop it. Okay. Um, We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Hythea. Both the scientific community, blah, blah, blah. They're basically saying they have discovered life. So I'm just going to go and skip this one. And com commendable initiative. Build. <laughs> build the research station already. Dang it. Alrighty. So let's... This is surveyed, 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 and an anomaly. That is good. Ready. You have 63 there. What else do we have here? Let's go to like, take a look at the surface here. We have some extra colonies here. What is our... We still have enough food, but that could change quickly. So... Can I, I can clear these. Do I want to? I want to just build something. Let's go and just build a science lab. The initial survey report, which mentioned life science originating from the surface of Janet 3, may have been mistaken. Must have been mistaken, as nothing of the sort has been found by the Aldong science officer Baku, Baku. Reports that the planet now appears to be completely devoid of life. Well, that is unfortunate. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and build that. We are at 37, and we're getting 12 every month. And alrighty. Let's see if we can, hopefully, I wonder if we found any ocean planets yet. So far, wow. Literally one planet of anything there. Although it is a tropical. So, no. Not really. I, guess actually, I find this actually surprising that a tropical planet does not have a higher rating within, like, purely ocean planet. I find that kind of surprising. Research but, complete. anyways, alright, let's go ahead and hit new research here. Let's go and pause real quick so I have time to figure out what I want to do. Let's go ahead and get the coil gun for there. For here, let us get. Let's see here. Um, these sensors have been turned to tuned to look for any gravitational changes in space, such as those produced by the presence of a starship. That could be good. Planet fortification toughness. Uh, let's get the reacher speed. That's that's an overall better one, I think. For now, at least Earth's early on. It's early on. Really, I don't really need to worry about other people really. So, let's keep doing that, shall we? And all right, what are you doing? All right, you can construct things there, so you're gonna go over there now. Are you gonna go over there? Oh, this is in my star system. Come on, what are you doing? Oh yeah, pause. I keep, <laughs> I keep hitting the spacebar button, and I keep pausing it, and it really screws me over here. 
Alrighty, so you... Is this within... Lies within. Sweet. Okay, we got four there, so you're actually going to send my construction ship over there to build stuff once I get the appropriate materials to do so. And i got to be careful, definitely, because my energy credits are running low. So hopefully... I really hope I find another source of energy under, like, in Corvus here. You're still doing stuff there. Okay. Anything over here? What do we got? That's that continental world. Okay. So that's actually... Yeah, there is a civilization there, so I can't actually do anything with that. Tomb world? What? Tomb Raider? What the heck's a tomb world? System that's interesting. Complete. Hmm. Alright. Never heard of a tomb world. That's interesting. Huh. So, okay, what's going on here? So, science ship, science ship, they are doing things. They're still... Oh, there's a surface construction queue. Okay, good. Negative balance. Yeah. Do you find anything there, buddy? Ooh. Oh, sweet. There is an ocean world. That is good. There is energy there. Of course, there's going to be energy there. But anyways, but importantly, there is an ocean world close by. So that is the important part. <coughs> I definitely got to be careful with my energy credits here. I do, although the last time I played this uh, this race, my last playthrough as I was still learning the game, I kind of ran into this, this same situation where let's go and get this going. Uh, where I had a lot of minerals, which was great, but I had so few energy credits. Like to the point, I was actually losing credits. Um, I was kind of just, I was kind of striking this really precarious balance between the two. Oh, sweet! There is three over there. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and finish the, that one, and send it straight over there to get that energy. Let's go ahead and send. Okay, you're still doing stuff then. All right. So what's going on here? Encounter in dust. Oh, hello. Hostile fleets present. Where we got that? What's going on? And what? No. Where are you? Oh, okay. It's one of those space amoebas. All right, that's all right. Shh. We don't know that yet. It's a sp <laughs> it's a space amoeba. <coughs> Anyways, encounter in dust still. Encounter some form of alien life and gamma aliens. I believe it's this thing right here. Yeah, dust still. Duh. Anyways. Oh, what are you doing? No, oh, just keep going, damn it. Fine, fine. We need to build the other one anyways. Wait till he leaves. I'm gonna send it over there. Build mining sweet mining station, yeah. Build a mining station over there. So that's fine. Yeah, see he left anyways. I knew he would. 150, we're at 72, definitely don't want to mess with them yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade the fleet. We'll fully upgrade it up to 75. What else is going on here? Data balance. Well, we'll be doing that in a second. Evading, system survey, fleet upgraded, construction finished. Alrighty. Got that going. Let's go ahead. Oop. 71. What else do we got here? We are not running low. Oop. Damn it. Stop putting things. Alright, we are not running low on food. We, are a we have a three food surplus. So that's good. That's a good start. <coughs> so. I think I do want to upgrade. Let's go ahead and see here. Let's go and switch those two. Let's build another science lab over there. So since I still have, I have these two for food. I have food here, food here, food over there. Eventually, I do need to actually. Let's actually go ahead and. Well, let's see here. What am I losing so far? Monthly gain minus 0.98. So basically, one per month. Although I am building that one, so that's actually all right. So let's go ahead and clear this, and then I can build a energy, a power, a power station, a power plant rather, uh, in this tile here. And alrighty, so I think that's about it for now. <coughs> and let's see here, Jan's over there. He's doing clean. He is building. Right. Don't have a whole lot. Still losing my one per turn. One people gain levels. That's good. It's good. It's good. I'm getting surveyed. More surveys. Sweet. What else is going on here? The leader has gained a level. All right. That's another le another level. Oop, didn't mean to do that. <coughs> Anomaly found. Yep. All right. Survey completed. Though our surveys of habitable habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. 
Our most interesting finds are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology and on Hythia. The public is, is enthralled and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. Alrighty, excellent. Let's go ahead, yeah, let's research that. For sure. Find out what's going on there. Let's just take a drink of water since my voice is getting hoarse. I apologize and I will try to cut that out. Probably will. <coughs> If it's if it sounds too bad, but alrighty. So okay. Oh sweet. Okay, new rules protocol is nearly done. So actually, let's start saving up minerals so that we can move to I believe what was it? The Curbus system is the Curbus system, right? Yeah, the Curbus system. So we move to the Curbus system as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and stop building any everything else. We're at plus twelve per month, which is actually not bad for. I think it's pretty good for this early on. Let's see here. What do I need? Uh, lead a lifespan plus 10 years, food plus 10%, a military academy, or naval capacity. Let's go ahead and gene mapping may lead to other things. I don't feel the need for a military thing right now. Um, I'm not really feeling threatened, and I haven't met anyone yet this early on, so that can be done later. Let's go ahead and get the plus 10 for the food. Is that in the long term will pay off in dividends. So, alrighty. Oh yeah, let's find out how much I need for a colony ship here. What do we need? 350. Wow. Damn. I was hoping it was be less. All right. Well, that's okay. The Corvette construction science ship. I don't need any of those. So it looks like you're just gonna be sitting around here for a bit, buddy. Too bad. I can't actually do anything. Where was the other guy? Was it Distal? Shit, where was that other civilization? Oh, okay. Here it is. Urn Uran Tok. Okay. System survey complete. Another system survey. What else have you found? Three over there. That is sweet. Oh, and another habitable system, actually. Let's see, we got two here, three there. So it really actually is between... Situation encountered more aliens, the De Delta aliens. Let's go actually go ahead and change the situation log here. Do I want to... Wait, what do we want? Yeah, okay, we can go ahead and just pause this, actually. Let's go ahead and research all these aliens here. But you see, when you go into the situation log here, and you uh, research these special researches, it, it will actually pause whatever you're working on at the moment in the technology tree. Which, but that's okay, because we're just working on lifespan and food, and that's... it can come later. Let's go ahead and get that other stuff up and running, so at least we know what we're dealing with here, although I already have a pretty good idea. But anyways, what, which one was it again? Wow, I can never remember the names. Like, okay, it was Curbus. That's right. So we can either go to Curbus or go to Soyun. Which actually, Soyun actually sounds like a better idea. Not because, it's more specifically because it's farther out from my home planet. And so I can then gain control of a larger, you know, area more easily. This won't, going to Curbus here will not increase my empire's domain quite as much as going to the one that is just outside my current empire's domain. Alrighty, so this has been fully surveyed. Sweet, and you're doing surveying, and you're just waiting on. Alright, so we're at 228. <coughs> I'm just getting pretty close here. System I'm trying to keep these videos about half an hour long. Um, I realize <laughs> uh, with this game, you know, not a whole lot happens, but regardless, go ahead and all right, we go. so we finished the coil gun, and new research. Let's go ahead and get oh, the mining network. Special project complete. Yeah, well, let's see. Let me think here. Well, the reports are of extraordinary free, free floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. The ship size objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert. But sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they might be alive. A fascinating prospect to be sure, but they are appro should be approached with caution. Our best and brightest are standing by to study these entities. Alrighty. So that's those crystalline formations we saw earlier. So let's go ahead and actually go ahead and get let's go and get mining network. Let's go ahead and get our mining up and running. We are research done. Let's go ahead and do a new research here. And let's get the power plants. Get more power. So we definitely want to upgrade our power and our mining as quick as possible. I think it's probably a wise course of action. 
and we are almost, almost done. I'm almost getting a new colony going. That's pretty much just what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting to save up for that. Let's check on these guys. Here we have... Let's see, we got... Wow, wow. We have a lot of physics research going on in this planet here. Oh, wow, and another ocean world. Wow, there's a whole lot of ocean worlds here. Okay. Oh, sweet. Our first empire. The Tuxen. Tuxen. I guess we'll call them the Tuxen Empire. Uh, I speak on the behalf of the Tuxen Empire, and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Empress Hask Zumun. I is, oh, Hasumun the first. I'm sorry. Is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species, and we look forward to an exchange of culture and ideas. We are delighted to meet you, Tuxens. Alrighty, the news that we encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire through the Ultra Star Empire. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in the galaxy has largely been greeted with cyber celebration in Hythia. Just like us, the aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to our own. This is, is, is a momentous occasion. Whatever that means, is, was forced to return to Hythias from Tuxedale because it's within the borders of the Tuxan Empire. Alright, so where are they relative to us? They are just south of us. Alright, so actually, I'm going to head... Where are you? Okay, so you have to keep... you have to run. So that's okay. You only have one plan, anyways. Um, actually, I kind of like these guys. I, I usually generally like to actually make friends with the first empire I meet, especially if they're right next door to me. Not really, usually, <laughs> this early on, I'm not really too, let's say, violent. <laughs> let's see, I'm usually kind of in the mood to, like, just make friends, and I'm not really too worried about anything else. Okay, encounter industrial epsilon aliens. Okay. What else is going on here? Did we finish the other one? We did. Okay, so let's go ahead and research that. And research these. Let's go ahead and get all these researches done. And find out what's going on. We have 313 almost there. 325. Okay. What's going on? Oh, yeah, no access. That's right. Science ships. You're actually going to go north here then. From there. Wait, see, let's see if we can get these. Can we? Can we get to them? Maybe. Looks like we can. Let's find out what the hell these three stars are over here. Wow, just like some like really outlying things over here. So, anyways, if I could get like one rogue thing going on, maybe it's not like a uh, what's it called? Let's get a frontier outpost going over there. What, that's like where did I find the other one? Whoa. Okay. Uh, giant wall of text. It's actually alrighty. Let's go ahead and go through this, shall we? The Crystalline Entities, the name itself, a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Hythia are most definitely alive. Some overly conservative members of the Ultarian, Ultron Aca academic elite argue that they are silicate animate matter and that they have little in common with biological life. The vast majority of the Ultra Star Empire populists reject that regressive regressive perceptive, instead turning their eyes toward the fascinating new horizons that the crystalline entities represent. They are, somewhat regrettably, solitary beings, each individual crystal sovereign rarely seen with more than one sentinel and smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being a subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuisances of the crystalline entities, social hierarchical relationships are lost on us which does not stop these dynamics from being the subject of fevered study on Hythia. The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to any an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can, which can be violently unleashed. And it would appear as though, as though sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the refractive properties of the crystal. This knowledge will surely be a great boon to the sciences. Alrighty. Anyways, getting back to what I am doing here, we found another habitable habitable planet, another ocean world, over here on Urga still. So, there's actually no point in me going to Soyan. I should go over Urga still, the one even farther away. That's actually even better. Although, I'm sure there's probably disadvantages of going that far away, because that means there's like, giant distances between each of my cities, and while there's probably some disadvantages to that, I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, I mean, seeing as we're... Yeah, I'm not really too worried about it right now. So, 
Anyways. Wow, another one. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, jeez. Which one should we go to, then? Which one's bigger? Let's see here. This one has... Whoop, space amoebas, etc., etc. Uh... A eh, special project. I don't want to... They're usually harmless. There's a few that are kind of dicks, but they're usually harmless. So actually we got three... Wow, that is amazing. There's three ocean worlds. Like, one there, one there, one there. That is insane. Let's get some new research going here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually upgrade my spaceports so I can make cruisers. Or not cruisers, I'm sorry, but whatever the hell they're called. Uh, <laughs> I keep forgetting names. It's a little embarrassing, but that's okay. Corvette assembly yards, but once I get spaceport level 3, I'll be able to make the next up from cruisers, which are... Oh, hell. Anyways, unimportant right now. We are at 398. I've been talking for way too long here. Let's go ahead and build that colony ship. Get that going. And we'll immediately... Well, now we're gonna have a pickle here. Do I, <laughs> I have three systems, like, within... Very, very close to each other, and each has an ocean world. So this is actually very interesting. I've never seen this before. Um, and there's one over here, too. Although it's very, very tiny. It is a, actually a moon instead of... Hmm... Let's see. Yeah. Um, what's going on over here? Interesting. Wonder what that is. Another un unidentified empire. I wonder if it's a uh, something similar to what we found over on Uruntok. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. And I guess we'll see. Who's over here? Okay. What are you doing? Are you still going over there? Okay, actually, you have to go over there. What are you? What? Where are you? No, oh, okay, you're going there, but where are you going? That's interesting. I like they're both going here, so one of you actually just go over here. I don't know what's going on there. I think I might have screwed up there a little bit. But actually, with the colony ships building, and I still have things paused like an idiot. That would explain things. Let's try and not touch the freaking. <laughs> let's try and not touch the space bar here. But, anyways, that. Oh, okay, just a little last thing here. Okay, another Zeta aliens. That's okay. But anyways, guys, that is actually going to be it for this episode. I'm going to try to keep this episode not terribly long, about half an hour. Um, this one actually ran over qu a little bit. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you please, leave a like down below, comment, give me a s feedback on it, and please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'm going to put a link right up here in the video for you. And as always, have a good day. Anomaly.